so now we see acceptance of push down automata assuming that we have the machine i am q where you have the q sigma tau q 0 z 0 a and delta so this is the say one tuple you know and this is the pda acceptance of pda acceptance by the final state so here how your pda is going to accept the language this is the acceptance of the pda whose acceptance is by the final state for some q which belongs to a and a is what a is the set of accepting states so <clears throat> this means that your input exhaust and at the same time your machine is at the final state some of the fun you may have the more than one final state so your machine can be any one of these final state so this is important final state and the remaining input to be read is null means machine has consumed the input machine has read the input completely and at the same time machine reach the final state whatever be the contents of the alpha <coughs> alpha is some contents of the stack so alpha is alpha belongs to some strings from the tau star and whatever be the alpha we don't worry about this whatever be the contents of the present contents of the stack what what is important here in case of the acceptance by the final state the important thing is that your machine has reached to the final state and you have read the input completely means your machine has cons consumed the input completely and at the same times it is able to reach the final state and this is the acceptance this this way you can say that this x is accepted by the machine so <clears throat> language accepted by the machine is set up all such x for which your machine starts from the initial configuration and it goes for the final configuration if you go for the second kind of acceptance then you have the acceptance acceptance by empty stack so you have the acceptance by the empty stack so how your pd is going to accept the strings using this kind of acceptance in this way you can say that the language accepted by the machine is at q so for any q your machine can go to the any one of one of the states of your machine what is important here you have seen that the remaining input to be read is null and the present contents of your stack is null so <clears throat> your machine has consumed the input completely and at the same times it empties its stack and this is the acceptance by the empty stack because machine is going to empty the stack on consuming the input completely and we say that x is accepted now here q can be any state of your machine irrespective here in case of the acceptance by the empty stack the final state can be any one any one of the q can be the final state means at any state your machine can empty its stack while consuming the input completely so this is the acceptance by the empty stack so here we have two kinds of acceptance one is acceptance by the final state and other is the acceptance by the empty stack what is important is here is if you have the machine whose acceptance is by the final state we can obtain the equivalent machine whose acceptance is by the empty state and vice versa so if you see the equivalence of these two kinds of acceptance so you have we have the two machines one is pda pda by final state okay so we have the pda by the final state means we have the pda whose acceptance is by the final state and we have other kind of acceptance means we have the pda we have the pda by empty stack empty stack 
so you have the other kind of acceptance acceptance by the empty stack so <clears throat> what we mean that if you have the pda whose acceptance is by the final state you can obtain you can convert this pda to the pda whose acceptance is by the empty state so any pda whose acceptance is by the final state can be converted to the equivalent pda whose acceptance is by the empty state and here what i mean that equivalent pda means the language accepted by the pda whose acceptance is by the final state and you are obtaining the equivalent pda whose acceptance is by the empty stack in both both pda accept the same language then you can say that yes you have obtained the equivalent pda similarly if you have the pda whose acceptance is by the empty stack you can obtain the machine equivalent machine whose acceptance final state so we will see that there there is a very simple conversion for pda by final state so you have some pda here PDA you have the initial state q0 and let us denote this pda because this pda is accepting the strings by the final state so we denote by writing the m f f we are using for the significance that this is the pda whose acceptance is by the final state and now you can have any number of states in this in this pda and assuming that in this pda we have two final state you can have only one final state also there is no issue or you can have more than two final state we just assume that we have two final state in this pda and this is the pda whose acceptance is by the final state so we have the pda actually and let us see this is the pda mf what is mf mf you can say we have the q we have the set of states you have the input symbol okay you have some stack symbol stack alphabet initial state is q0 here and initial stack contains you have the z0 a is the accepting state of this pda and you can say delta we denote by writing delta f and this is the transition function of your this machine so let us this is the machine mf where you have the q sigma tau q0 z0 a and delta f so how you can obtain the pd whose acceptance is by the empty stack for this actually you need to add two extra states in this pda let us name this state as p0 so we have the p0 this is the state you are adding and this is acting as the initial state from p0 you can go to the initial state of the pda whose acceptance by the final state and <clears throat> you are going to this state by without consuming any input and assuming that we, we are taking one new top uh, stack symbols just like in this pda you have the z0 is the initial stack symbol in the pda whose acceptance is by the empty stack we take x0 as the initial stack symbol and what is the what is the reason for this move is without consuming any input when the stack symbol is x0 we need to push z0 at the top of the stack so it once you go to it once you are at the state q0 you have z0 at the top of the stack why it is so because in this machine mf you know that the initial stack contents is z0 and once machine is at the state q0 it sees that the top of the stack will be z0 now <clears throat> you need to add one more state here you have the state say p this is the state p and from every final state from every final state you can make the transition like this what is your what what actually we are doing once your machine is at the final state when your machine mf is at the final state and from that what is your job your job is to empty the stack so you just need to because you are going converting the pda whose acceptance is by the empty stack means whenever your machine reach to the final state 
and it has consumed the input what we need to do is we need to empty the stack so without consuming any input and stack top can be any symbol so you can have the any symbol in the stored on the stack and what you need you need to delete it similarly <clears throat> from this final state also you can have the same transition and this is without consuming the input whatever you have at the top you need to delete it you may have some symbol left so still you can make a loop and without consuming any input you can have any symbol at the top of the stack you need to delete till the stack becomes empty okay so <clears throat> this is the conversion of the machine from the pda whose acceptance is by the final state to the pda whose acceptance is by the empty stack you may question that why we need to add the x0 as the initial stack symbol in the machine whose acceptance is by the empty stack we are going to convert so a <clears throat> question is that accidentally you might have deleted the z0 although we believe that the z0 earlier we have seen that z0 we have taken as the initial stack symbol and we assume that this symbol is not deleted from the stack so you are not going to replace this with null string this we are going to assume but <clears throat> once your computation is over means once you come to know that yes your input exhaust and you have seen you have come to know that this is the case of acceptance and once machine is going to the final state then somebody may delete this z0 also or accidentally this z0 may might be deleted so once <clears throat> z0 is deleted and when machine is at the final state okay and if the z0 is deleted then you you will not be able to make the transition that's why you have to take x0 as the marker of the symbol so at least you are not doing anything at the machine mf you are not using the x0 here so at even z0 was deleted but you have x0 as the marker and which is which will be stored at the any <coughs> bottom of the stack so even z0 was deleted accidentally then you will see at least x0 here so you can make the transition so null without consuming any input you can top you can have if you have deleted the z0 you can have the x0 here and you are going to this state p so this is the <coughs> Where you have converted what you have done here actually you are you have obtained the machine we have obtained the machine say machine you have i am acceptance by the empty stack so i can denote the machine like this m e instead of m f so we are going to obtain the machine m e and what m is there what what is the what are the states here so we have added two states so q union q union you have two state one is p0 and other one is p so this is the now this is the states of your machine sigma remains same because alphabet remains same now you have the stack symbols you are adding x0 additional so the tape symbol in the machine whose acceptance is by the empty stack also include the x0 okay now initial state of this machine is now we have used p0 is the initial state now so p0 is the initial state and x0 is the initial stack symbol we have and since <clears throat> there is no concept of the final state here in so we don't require to mention the final state the transition function of this machine we can denote by writing the del delta e so this is the transition function so this is the machine you have obtained so you have added two states one is p0 and other one is p and you have 
take an extra stack symbols and p0 is now become the initial state and x0 becomes the initial stack symbol and you have the transition function so how you can define the the transition function so we have the transition function delta e the transition delta e you have the transition function is defined by how you can define so <clears throat> we can define the transitions of the machine whose acceptance is by the empty stack so how you can give the transition for this machine so what you have done so delta e can be defined like this you have what you are doing you are at the state p0 so you have transition function of the machine is delta e delta e p0 you have the p0 this is the initial state and we are not going to consume the input and stack top symbol is x0 what is the output of this we are going we are going to the state q0 and you are replacing the x0 by with the string z0 and with the string z0 x0 okay so this is the transition you have so this is <clears throat> from the state p0 once you are at the state p0 you have you are not consuming any input your job is to push z0 onto the top of the stack and hence your x0 is replaced with the z0 x0 so you have this this is the output now <clears throat> what you once you are at the q0 then then we are not going to actually modify the transitions so from the for any you can say for all states for all states q belongs to q you can have input symbol a can be either from the sigma or a can be null also okay and x x belongs to tau so <clears throat> we have the alphabet tau you can do addition which is delta e delta e you are at the state q you have the input is a it can be any input symbol or it can be null and stack top is x this is equal to the same as delta f delta f is the transition function of the machine whose acceptance is by the final state mf so this can be given on behalf of the mf so this is same you are in the same state you have the input a and you have the top symbol is x so <clears throat> this is what we what we mean that the transition function of the machine ma from if q is any state of any state from the q and a can be either stack symbol sorry e can a can be either null or a can be any input symbol x is top of the top of the stack then we are not going to modify the transitions we are actually we are going to simulate the transition of the machine mf that's why it contains the same pairs as contained by the transition delta f so as we are we have not changed now what you need to do further for any state 
तो फॉर ऑल स्टेट फॉर ऑल स्टेट से क्यू विच इज इन द फाइनल स्टेट सो फॉर एवरी स्टेट क्यू विच इज द फाइनल स्टेट ऑफ द मशीन एम एफ ओके सो वॉट वी नीड वॉट वी हैव डन यू हैव डिफाइंड द ट्रांजिशन हियर सो वी हैव द डेल्टा ई डेल्टा ई इज द ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन ऑफ द मशीन एम ई एंड फ्रॉम द स्टेट क्यू वी हैव नॉट कंज्यूम द इनपुट वी हैव एडेड द ट्रांजिशन लाइक दिस सो यू हैव द ट्रांजिशन वी हैव एडेड सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू कंज्यूम एनी इनपुट and we have stack stack symbol can be anything it can be x0 also or it can it can be it can be any symbol from the tau so x can belongs to either tau union x0 so x can be any symbol from the tau union x0 so you can give the transition delta e q null and top of the stack can be x so you have without consuming any input and any symbols you can have it can have the x0 also it can have z0 and whatever the symbols already in the tau and including the x0 what you are what where you are going you are going to the state p means you are going to the state p and what is the purpose you are just deleting the symbol so whatever is the symbol is at the top you are going to delete so you are replacing the top with the null so this is the transition function now you have to give the fourth one is what you have defined the transition at the p also so for the from the p what you have defined the same you are not consuming any input and you can have a, any symbol and you your purpose is to just delete and remain in the same place so you have delta e this is the transition of this machine i mean i mean so delta e you are at the state p and you are not going to consume the input you are taking the null transitions and you have the x <coughs> x here x again x belongs to either tau union x0 x can be for any x for any x which belongs to tau union x0 this is you are coming back to the same state means you are in the state p and you are deleting the tau so you are replacing with null so this is the pair you have so these are the only transitions in this machine so we have defined the transitions so from the given machine whose acceptance is by the final state you have obtained the machine whose acceptance whose acceptance is by the empty stack so this is the pda actually you have obtained the pda by empty stack empty stack and while doing this what we have done you have just added the two extra states and accordingly you have you have seen that how you have defined the transitions of the machine so if you are given some pda you have some pda the conversion is very sim simple your algorithm says that you have some pda you are given some pda whose acceptance is by the final state and then this is the input pda and what you need to do you have to add two states one is the initial state like this and other one is the p so whatever you are given in the given pda you have one state p0 from p0 you are going to the initial state of the given pda and from every final state of the pda you are going to the state p from every final state and you have the you have in your pda whose acceptance is by the empty stack you can define the transitions 
like this. And in fact, you are not going to modify any transitions of the PDA whose acceptance is by the fungi state. You are just simulating the transitions. You are just simulating the action of the machine MF. So that's why you are not going to change only the transitions you are going to add from the final states and from the state P and from the state P0. Okay. So this is the way you have obtained the PDA from final state to the empty state. Now let us see you have some PDA whose acceptance is by the empty stack. We need to convert from this PDA to the PDA, PDA by final state. Okay. So we are going to obtain the PDA by the final state. Okay. So how we can obtain? So you now you are given the PDA by the empty stack. So let us assume we have some PDA here. Okay. And the initial state of this PDA is Q0. We have, and you can have any number of states in the PDA, assuming that you have some state here, you can list some state here. You may have more states like this. So assuming that this is the PDA whose acceptance is by the empty stack. So in any state, you know that your stack can become empty when your input is charged. So here you have not designated the state as the final state. Let us see, let us be denote this PDA by writing the ME, which is the PDA whose acceptance is by the empty stack. So we, we are going, we are having the ME. So let us, ME is what? So this is the machine ME, where you have the set of states, you have the input alphabet, this is the stack alphabet, initial state of the machine, Z0 initial state content and you have the transition function. We don't have final state here because the acceptance is by the empty state. We are going to convert this machine from empty state to the final state. So for this case also, we need to add two extra states. One is P and this P0 is acting now. This is the initial state of this machine. So you have the initial state. And from P0, you can go to the initial state of the machine ME, whose acceptance is by the empty state. So job is to push Z0 onto the top of the stack while going to the Q0. So Z0 will be now at the top of the stack. So you know that in this case, in the in the PDA by empty stack, at any state, your stack is empty means even in this case, you have deleted the Z0 also. So that's why we need to add the marker, additional stack symbol, which is the in the machine, which is the X0. And X0, even you have deleted Z0 also, then we will have the marker at the stack the x0 will be still there in the stack. So what you need to do, you have to go for the, you have to add the one state, which is the P, you can say PF, we can say, and this will be now final state. So we are converting the PDA whose acceptance is by the final state. So you don't know from, from which state, at which state your stack, your input exhaust and at the same time, your stack becomes empty. So from every state, you can make the transitions like this. What transitions you need to give? You don't require to consume the input. And once you see that stack is deleted, means once you see the top symbol of the stack is X0, because in this machine, I mean, <coughs> stacks <coughs> top symbol was, you have the stack and the stack top symbol was Z0. In the machine, we are going to construct which acceptance is by the final state. We have kept X0 also. So X0 is now in this machine is acting as the initial stack content. So even you have deleted, since once you are at the state Q0, 
machine sees that Z zero at the top, and from this it is going to for some computation work, and once input exhaust and at the same time stack becomes empty, means Z zero is deleted. Then what is there? You have the X zero at the bottom. So that's why you can make the transition like this and say you can delete or you can not delete. There is no issue. From this state also, you can go to the PF and without consuming any input, you have the X zero. You can replace with null. From this also, you can go to the state final state and without consuming the input, you can go to this state and from the Q zero also, you can move to the final state from Q zero, and you have the without consuming input. When you see the top is X zero, means Z zero is deleted. The stack becomes empty, and you jump to the final state. So these are the transitions you are going to add in this machine. Okay. So what you have obtained? We have obtained the machine now. MF, whose acceptance is by the final state. So, what are the states in this machine? We have the state Q union. We have added two states. One is P0 and other one is PF. Okay. So, these two states we have added. So, now in the machine MF, the total number of states becomes like this Q union P0 PF. Input alphabet remains same. Now you have added one extra stack symbol. So now you have the tape symbols becomes tape alphabet becomes bigger and it also includes the X0 like this. P0 is now initial state of your machine. So we have the P0 is the initial state. Initial stack. Symbol is X0 here. Okay. And final state. So we have final state also. So which one is the final state? PF. We have designated this as the <coughs> final state. So the only final state is PF you have. And then you have the transition function. And you can say transition function be defined as writing the data F. So this is the machine you have obtained. Okay. So <clears throat> here you have added two, two states, P0 and PF. P0 is acting as the initial state, and your job is to your job is to push. Uh, you have <clears throat> this with the making the transitions, you need to go to the Q0 while pushing Z0 at the top. Because at the at the Q0 machine ME says. Z0 at the top. X0 we have kept we have kept as the as the marker of the bottom. And we don't since we don't know in which state your machine becomes empty and input exhaust. That's why from every state of your machine, ME, we need to give the transitions. As soon as you see that Z0 is deleted, means top becomes X0, then you jump to the final state from every state like this. So in this way, you have obtained this. So Q0 is like this. You have the stack symbols will become like this. Tau union 0. P0 is initial state of the machine. X0 initial stack symbol. The only final state is PF here. And delta F is the transition function. And delta F, transition function delta F, transition function here delta f is defined as given below so how you are going to define how you are going to define the transition function delta So how you can define one. 
see <coughs> you are in the whenever you are in the state p0 so we have the transition function so you know that <coughs> this output can be can have this is one pair you can have any more number of pairs also here you have only one pair output is and this denotes the set set of pairs so that's why you are writing in the form of set now so from every state from every state q which is in the q okay a can be any input symbol or it can be null x is any tape symbol and you say x belongs to tau tau is the stack symbol of the machine whose acceptance is by the empty stack i mean okay. so you can define the transition function delta f you are at the state q and you have some input or you can have null and the stack top is x okay so see you are not going to modify any transitions of this machine so this set set this is the set this set set contains exactly all pairs that are contents in the transitions of this machine means which is contents in the transition delta e q a and x okay so whatever be the pairs whatever be the output of this the same is the same is here means you are not you are not going to change the transitions you are ju just simulating you are just simulating the me in the for obtaining the machine whose acceptance is by the final state so you are just simulating the action now you have the third kind of transitions so what con conditions you have third one is you have seen that in addition to the transitions appeared in the state 2 from every state q your machine imf is taking the transitions like this in addition to the state the transitions in the state 2 what you have from every state q which belongs to q from every state q belongs to q the q is the set of states in the machine me and what you need what you have added the transitions so you have the transitions like this so you can say delta delta f can be given as you are at the state q and you are not going to consume the input you are not going to consume any input you are taking the null transition and top is x0 for the top x0 you are going to add the transitions and what is the output of this the output of this transition is you are going to the state pf so you are going to the state pf and what is your job you are going to delete the x0 so you have the like pair like this this is the output so this is the transition you have only in addition to, to the transitions at the state step 2 this is the step 2 <clears throat> you have seen the transition from every state of the machine me for every input symbol from the sigma or it can be null transition so you have the same output as you have the machine transitions of the machine me means delta e so you have the this set delta f q e x contains exactly contains exactly the same pairs as contained in the transition delta e q a x in addition to this step from every state since you have added the transitions so you can say from every state q which is in the q you can give the transition of the machine mf so delta f q 
without consuming the input null and top is x0 here. Once you see top x0, you are going to the state pf while deleting the x0. And whenever you are at the state, once you are at the state pf, you are not going, you have not defined the transitions, just you enter to the final state. And hence, this is the way, these, these are the only transitions in this machine. So you can say that you are able to convert the machine from empty stack to the machine whose acceptance is by the final state. And now see, this is very simple conversion you have again. Whenever you have the machine whose acceptance is by the empty stack, you just define the machine while adding the two extra states and giving the transition as we have described here. Okay. So you don't worry, whatever, if you are given some language and whenever you are able to construct the machine whose acceptance is by the empty stack and some, if someone requires that, okay, no, I need the stack PDA whose acceptance is by the final state. So you can convert like this. So PDA by empty stack and PDA by final state or PDA by final state to the PDA by empty stack. We have seen the conversions and hence you are able to file once you go for these these algorithms then you will be able to obtain the pdas from one acceptance to the other acceptance so <clears throat> here you come to know that the pda by empty stack do you have the pda by empty stack pda by empty stack or final state empty stack and you have the pda by final state okay so you have the pda by empty stack and pda by final state you say that both are equivalent why they are equivalent because they are accepting the same class of language whatever whatever you have the language whatever language is ac accepted by this machine the same language you are going to you have uh, obtained the pda and this pda also accepting the same language this means assuming that for this machine if you assume that you have the machine and we assume that the language, the language represented by the machine or language accepted by the machine, ME is equal to L. Then while you this conversions, then you will see that the language accepted by the machine MF is also L. So for the you means this means you can say that you have obtained the equivalent PDA. Why it is equivalent? Because for the same language, you have you have the PDA whose acceptance is by the final state. So whenever you have the PDA whose acceptance is by the final state, you can obtain the PDA whose acceptance is by the empty state for the same language. So that's why the both machine has the same power. So you don't worry. Whenever you are able to obtain the PDA whose acceptance is by the final state, you can convert to the empty stack or PDA by empty stack, you can convert to the PDA by final state. Okay.